everyone, this is Ryan Morrow and I'm here with my friend Joel Richardson. We are on the first ever officially sanctioned Christian tour in Saudi Arabia and the first ever officially sanctioned tour to the Mount Sinai area. So this is a historical moment that we're bringing you on right now. And with permission, we are in the possible or likely Golden Calf worship site. And right behind me, you can see a petroglyph of a bull indicating this was an area of bull worship. You can actually see people drawn in worshiping and in some cases dancing around this bull in this just a specific area. It's not the entire valley. It's just, it went on right here and then appears to have suddenly stopped. So we're going to walk around a little bit to give you an idea of just how dramatic uh, these scenes are. Now there's more petroglyphs. Again, showing bull worship on both sides. On this side, there's more faint drawings of cows. Now, there's another section of apparent petroglyphs up there at the top that appear to show bull worship. And if this is where the Golden Calf worship site is, then right at the top in that flat area is where the uh, Golden Cow would be. All right, so I'm standing here right now on top of the Golden Calf altar. This would have been place where the golden calf was placed on this big pile. It's a natural formation of rocks. Now, right there, that's Mount Sinai, at the base of which right up here is Moses' altar and the pillars and so forth. For those that were worshiping out here on the plain below, this was the mountain that was on fire as they were in the process of worshiping the golden calf. So right over here, not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but right down there is a big carving of a cow just below this uh, altar area, just down here at the bottom <laughs> is where some of the cows are carved. So here you've got one cow, and what's interesting is these guys were carved later. You can tell they're fresher, whereas these one, this is a bit more aged, and you can just see that this is fresher, but you do have some goats, or I'm not sure what they're called. Down here, I'm not sure how well you can see it, is are more cows, and there's several places where You've got different cows all over the place, but it gives you kind of a feel. And so then looking back up to where we just were, there's Ryan. Hey! <laughs> it is the top of the altar. According to the Bible, though, the golden calf was, wor was worshipped, and then there was an altar in front of it. So we should be looking for two piles of rocks to make that happen. So we have up there what we think would be the golden calf stand, and then we have this here, which may have operated as the altar to the golden calf that would be up there on higher ground. All right, so I'm standing right here on what is one of the possible spots where the golden calf actually would have been placed. When you're here, it actually does have the feel of what would have been a very natural altar. Um, now behind us is the larger section. Again, it's a natural formation of rocks that are covered with petroglyphs with a very flat area on the top that's also a likely area. It's, it's really one of these two that would have been the place where the golden calf was placed. Now, that particular pile of rocks is covered with petroglyphs, as Ryan pointed out, of cows, specifically of cows and bulls. Now, again, people could say, well, that's all a coincidence that this giant pile of rocks covered with cows, which were associated with worship, that date back to the very time of the Exodus, that it's sitting right to the east of the mountain, exactly where it should be according to the Bible. The fact that this is all here, it's just a coincidence. So you have to imagine, the mountain was ablaze with fire. Moses had gone up 40 days and had not come down. They said, where is Moses? Uh, Aaron and the rebels, they decide to, to create and fashion this golden calf altar. And here's the spot um, where I always say, 
probably the greatest catastrophe in redemptive history took place in the middle of the wedding ceremony. The, the marriage covenant, the, the betrothal covenant that God was making with Israel, the people turned to create a God, uh, fashion a God with their own hands. In the middle of the wedding, the bride was already cheating on her husband, on her bridegroom, as he was resting on the mountain in fire. It's just a, it's a tremendous, uh, I mean, it's just a stunning story to consider. Yeah, and one thing I'll point out is that if that's the altar to the golden calf, notice that this fence that the soul has put up for this archaeological site includes that area. It could have just cut across there and included only this, where the petroglyphs are. But no, the Saudis made a deliberate decision to include that area in the fenced-off spot. So there's something significant about that area in addition to this area with the petroglyphs showing the bull worship. Now this part of the Golden Calf worship site has only been noticed in recent years and it's extremely significant. When I went to the first uh, archaeological conference in Saudi history, the first international archaeological conference, they said that there are scenes where bull worship happened throughout the Arabian Peninsula and that's somewhat common back from that period of time. But what they said was really significant is when that is depicted in red paint. Now, if you look on this side of the Golden Calf Worship site, and what do you see? Very clearly, a bull, and then it looks like another animal, like a cow, next to it, and people above it in red paint. 